today? You excited to shoot today? Say what? You excited to shoot today? Oh, yeah. satisfying to do you know yeah, it gives me a boner for sure i'm glad we didn't film in that other bay because i couldn't have said the normal gross things that i say about like boners and butts and dicks and you know, stuff like that and yeah, it's like porn hub but for horses it's not a big deal now let's take a look at this some motherfucking shithead has been shooting this with a rifle i don't know who was doing that but I'm glad that I didn't see him. If you go to your range and you shoot the pistol plates with a rifle, you are a motherfucker. You fuck mothers. You fuck your own mother. You fucking fuck your mother. Are you offended by my cursing? I'm trying to curse so much that it weeds out the really old, weird guys that comment that I have a foul mouth. You know I thought mother? that was like the draw. I That's thought why it was I like you. I, I, listen, if you if you've been watching this channel, if you're one of the four people that have been watching this channel, and you're offended by person. <laughs> you have been watching the wrong channel. Also, the NRA fucking sucks. Look, somebody shot this one with a rifle too. Look at that. That's a 308. Right there. That really, that deeper pebbling, that was a 308. Some shit had shot these plates with a 308. They're stupid. They are stupid. They fuck horses. Oh. I'm gonna get in trouble out here one day for all the bad things I say. Okay, so today, now that we're done hosing off the targets, um, we are gonna have Beretta Day. I've been talking about doing this forever. The guns that I shoot most often are my Berettas. So we're gonna shoot my 92A1, my Cougar. I have a thorn in my foot that just got stuck in it. That really hurts. Let's fix that. Okay. All right, we fixed that. We're gonna shoot my 92A1, my Beretta Cougar, and the 92S. It's gonna be a really fun day. So. Let's come look at our, our array of, of Berettas here. All right, so we're gonna shoot the 92A1, we're gonna shoot the 92S and the Cougar. So what should we shoot first? Should we go chronologically or in the order that I purchased them? Purchase order. Purchase order. All right, let's do it. Let's, well, that means we get to start with my favorite gun ever first, and that's the 92A1. This gun, I'm not even gonna tell you how many rounds I have through it because you wouldn't believe me. I will tell you this though, it's in the five digits. And this gun has never malfunctioned. I would not believe you, it's the truth. Well, you can, you can kind of <laughs> look at it and change. tell. All right, so this one has been converted to decocker only. So let's decock it. Let's get the cock out of it. That is a smooth double action, I'll tell you. Let's look at that double action again. that smooth what is not smooth today though is the me the me is not doing well I'm gonna have to do better than that huh eh, you can do it with that one specific target for some yeah. reason. Let's take some long double action shots. That's where I really see the benefit from the uh, from how smooth this trigger is. Couple more. One more. So I've done a lot of work to this trigger. This is not sort of the way a stock 92 feels, although I do believe, in my opinion, the stock Berettas probably have the best double action, single action pull that you can get from the factory. That's just one man's opinion, but that's the way I see it. Um, also, I did not mean to dress like Nathan Drake today. That is entirely accidental. 
Not intentional, but I'm dressed exactly like Nathan. God, I love this gun. It's that one target every time. Yeah, it's like I just chronically can't get that one right. There we go. I don't know, I don't know why I did that. Gotta go get some more magazines. Magazines? So why do I like this gun? That's what everybody always asks. What's the deal? Why, why do I like Berettas so much and not, not Glocks or something? Well, I, I do like Glocks a lot, almost as much as Berettas, but the big draw for me is how smooth they are, how easy to shoot they are. Um, they fit my hand well, but more than that, this is the most reliable gun that I've ever owned. And I don't know, that means something to me. I also have a, a sentimental attachment to it because I've done so much work to it, but mostly it's just the reliability. You can't kill this gun. Let's see if I can go the other way without embarrassing myself. That was pretty formidable. That was all right. I, I don't know. No, that was, I think that was pretty embarrassing. Every time I go that direction, it's just, ooh. It's, You're a perfectionist. I am. It's cringy to watch on video. I think I have one more magazine for this. Although we're, we're going to keep loading it up, but. Let's see if I can go faster than that. Well, not and, and hit it and hit it. Yeah. Boy, I had one more. All right, so you said we're going to go in the order in which they were purchased? Yeah. All yeah. right, the Cougar's next then. So you prefer the Cougar, right? That's your favorite Beretta? Yes. Why? I like the shape. It's a little okay. bit shorter. It feels better in my hand. Um, the other one is really big, which I do like, but I don't know. There's something about the Cougar. No, also, the, uh, it's on the cover of Pulp Fiction, if I understand correctly. And I love <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Oh, that's fair. So if you don't know, the Cougar has a rotating barrel like the PX4. So it makes for a very different recoil impulse. In fact, watch when I shoot it. You see how little that, that, that moves upward? It's really nice. Um, some people will see more benefit from that. Others will see less. Um, it helps me. So I feel like I shoot this thing maybe even a little faster than the 92. I miss with it completely. Uh, that middle target's not my friend today. So this one, I have not done any work to the trigger. The trigger was so good just from the factory. Well, from the factory, this gun was like 20 years old when I bought it. I think mine was made in 94, but it doesn't need any, any help in the trigger department. That middle target's driving me crazy. There's always gotta be one, you know? Double action's hard with one hand. Actually, maybe I'm still faster with the 92. I think I am. I think I'm still a little faster with the 92. That is your, your go-to weapon. 
I thought I had another magazine for the Cougar. Oh, I do. This Cougar, I bought it used. I got a really good deal on it. I don't think, just looking at the inside, I don't think it had any more than 500 rounds through it. God, it is, it is a, a, a sweet shooting gun. This one mostly is a target gun for us, and uh, it makes it to the range pretty damn often. Uh, let's, let's take a couple more long double action shots again so that we can see the benefits of that Beretta double action and how smooth it is. I say, and then I don't make the shot. All right, let's try some double taps at this distance. We're at about 25 yards. Let's see if that rotating barrel assists us any with that. Yeah, that was my fault. Not so good. All right, now. Last, if we're going in purchase order, is this 92S. This is an early one. You can tell by the anodized frame and the blued slide. It's really awesome. These don't have a firing pin, block safety. Probably doesn't need it. We're kind of just using it as a target gun anyway. Um, but man, this is a sweet shooting gun. It's got one of the best triggers I've ever felt. Maybe the best trigger I've ever felt on a factory pistol. That's really nice. I love this gun. The only thing I notice about it that I don't like is um, the grip is extremely slick and my hands are sliding around all over the place as soon as they start to get sweaty. But God, that trigger, it's impossibly good. It's so good. So the single action pull, a little bit of take up, so crisp. Oh. God, it's nice. All right, we're gonna shoot the 92S a little bit more. We only have one magazine for it, so we keep having to stop and load it every time. This gun is great, but I wanna talk about something that bugs me a little bit. I've heard people online describing this gun as though it's sort of a good alternative to a modern 92 or an M9. It's really not, and let me show you why. The sights suck big fat donkey balls, uh, for one thing, that's the biggest problem. Um, and the other issue is the heel release. The heel magazine release, though, some people love it. I don't consider that a problem, but it does make it so that your mag changes are gonna be a little bit slower. It kind of deposits them in your hand, you hurl the magazine to the ground, or retain it if you're a European. I've heard they like to hang on to their magazines. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know, I was, guess I was trying to make some kind of wiener joke or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> so. There's the heel magazine. And penguin release. bloopers. Just filled penis jokes. Yeah, that's all it'll be. That's all any of our bloopers would ever be. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean it is, it is great. It's got one of the best triggers ever. It's it's amazing. It's an outstanding example of fine beretta craftsmanship. Let's shoot it. I do I do struggle with the sights though. I really do. The other problem is because there's no texturing on the grip, it's sliding around in my hand. I, I feel like I can't get a good grip on it. It's kind of just going all over the place. If I had gloves on, it'd be a lot easier, but I don't. So it's tough to control that That's thing. That's the way the news goes. That's the way the news goes. And look what happened here. Oh, that's bad. Poor old Beretta. You poor thing. We love you, Beretta. That's quite a gash. Come back to us. Well, that's okay. They're sturdy. So if you could have any gun right now, what would you get? If I could have any gun right now, it would be a Beretta ARX um, or a Tavor X95. In fact, I'm parting with that horrific CZ Scorpion Micro uh, to get either uh, an ARX or, uh, or an X95. Um, I really, really, really did not like the Scorpion Micro. What would you get if you could have any gun? Oh gosh. Another tiny this. Glock. Oh, which one? The silver. Another one? Uh-huh. Or I would get an AK-47. Which, which, no, what kind of AK would you get? 
I don't know. I'm open. You like the arsenals though, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's is that is that your favorite type of AK? An arsenal? Perhaps. Now why do you like those so much? They're classy. They are classy. That's a that's a that's a that's a classy AK. I think so. If you're gonna have an AK, that's the one to get. Um let's see if I can control it a little bit better without it sliding around in my hand like it was. I mean, it just makes the recoil a lot harder to control. It's just, it's, I wish you could feel it. It's hard to explain how much it's scooching around, but this trigger is amazing. Man, I'm really struggling with that one target. Well, as sweaty as my hands are, that's all we'll do with the 92S today. But man, this is a great gun. I like it a lot more in the winter when my hands aren't so sweaty. But, uh, or the, the rest of me isn't so sweaty. Look at that. That's just disgusting, isn't it? No, it's beautiful. Can't wait till it's fall again, and then you can wear your jacticle. My <laughs> jacticle. Yeah, and it won't be uh, 60 million degrees either. It's so fucking hot. I, I cannot convey to you viewers at home how fucking hot it is in We're South Carolina today. Sweating bullets. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Oh, I'm sweating like a fucking farm animal. You. It's not as sexy as it sounds like it would be. I love farms. I love animals. I love farm animals. It's time for magazine roundup. Time to round up the magazine. I don't know. Not a very exciting week in the penguin household. That's okay. What about you? It's quiet and good. What have you been excited about? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for it to cool down. Started watching Stranger Things. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, Stranger Things. It's a little things. too scary for me. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason on Game of Thrones, like I can say, oh, those... Those monsters, those dead people, those aren't real, but those little kids, they're so sweet and I don't want anything bad to ever happen to them and it's scary to me. So. <laughs> no, the third one is really, really good. It's outstanding. Anybody who was born in the 80s or grew up in the 80s, um, it's essential watching. <laughs> is it ever weird to you that there's all this like 80s and 90s nostalgia now? like? People are like, it is a little weird, isn't it? I like, mean, in sync is cool for like the girls to listen to again. Is, is it seriously? Hot. Yeah. Wow, that's that's very strange. Ariana Grande did a, um, like a nostalgia appearance <laughs> with them at her Coachella. Wow, I did not realize that. I'm gonna blow everyone on your channel's minds with this female pop culture knowledge. It, it will blow their minds. Many of them have never uh, seen a woman or touched a woman or talk to a woman or uh, 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 really laid eyes on any woman that wasn't their mom and was not drawn by a Japanese guy over the age of 40. So um, yeah, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be big for them. They're, Better that than tentacles? Uh, not for them, uh, oh. but they, they like the tentacles. Sorry, no kink shaming. No, look, if you, if you like tentacles, you know, that's, you know, that's okay. You know, that's your, it's not okay, but it's, you know, I get it. I guess women are pretty scary. Yeah, talking to women must be probably terrifying for you guys. You know, I'm strong and smart and good yeah. at everything. That's right. You know what I'm excited about this past week? What's that? The U.S. Women's National Team. Oh, me too. Winning. Absolutely. Absolutely destroying everybody else, doing a beautiful job. Love them. America is the greatest motherfucking country in the world. That's my song about it. Yeah. You, you do a verse. America, we are the greatest because we have a soccer girl. All right, so we're going to shoot the 92A1 for the rest of the day because it's just awesome. So my pockets are fat with magazines, bulging, brimming with bullets and other alliterations. Balls. Let's see, balls, <laughs> brimming with balls. All right, let's see how we do. My hair is getting in my fucking face. I need a fucking haircut. My favorite gun ever. We've shot it so much today, it's getting so hot I almost can't hold it. Oh yeah. Let's take some long shots. Let's let's step back to I don't know like 
30, 40 yards. Yeah. Let's keep walking back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Walking backwards. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're at about. Are we doing the cha cha slide? Like what? The cha cha slide. Walk it back. Is that a thing? Now walk it out. We didn't get the back now, y'all. Let's see if I can hit that shoot and see target down there. Hmm? Can you guys see that from here? The shoot and see? Sure. With, with the orange dot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit that well with the, uh, with the double action, but let's try. Oh, I did. All right, let's see if I can uh, get some more on there. How am I doing? Eh, they're going a little high. Not bad. That's really not a bad group for 40 yards. Let's go take a look. I'll take some of my pants bullets out of the way. Wow. That's not terrible. It could be a lot better, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't the worst for 40 yards. 40 yards offhand. Oh, I know what we should do. There are a few people online that get super irritated when I do center axis relock. So for those motherfuckers, we're gonna have to do some center axis relock. Let's do it. I feel like a magician's assistant. Are you gonna cut me in half? Yeah, but not for that reason. Um, it's different. Yeah, I love center axis relock. It's so fun. Yeah. I love doing it. It's really fun. It's amazing. It's ridiculously fun. I don't know why I'm just shooting the target from like five feet away. I don't know. I don't Feels know good to that. you. Wait, stop for a second. You hear that sound? Hot bugs. Hot bugs. If you don't live in the south, you don't know about hot bugs. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you guys have your own hot bugs. But uh, hot bugs live in the ground for up to two decades, and then they, they come forth and spread the hot sounds out. And you can tell the temperature by how hot the bugs are outside. True story. Hot bugs are nature's noisy thermometer. All right, let's back up and shoot some more steel on the move. That's one of my favorite things. I can't get enough of that. Also, this gun has gotten so hot, I am struggling to hold it. Oh, do I have any more magazines? Oh. I thought that's... you said that your pants were bursting with balls. They were, but that time has passed. Thank you so much for joining us on Beretta Day. The Beretta is my favoriteest pistol. I love it so much. It's fun to shoot. It's easy to use. The trigger is awesome. They're incredibly reliable. And really, all the stuff that you hear about them being rotten, terrible guns, in my experience, is not true. I have found these to be extremely reliable, flawlessly so. This one, again, I'm not gonna give you the round count because you wouldn't believe me, but it is in uh, the low five digits. This gun, in, for me, has been pretty much indestructible. I've never had a parts breakage, never a malfunction. It's, it's done extremely well. So, thank you so much for watching.